Many of us have found ourselves without consciously choosing to go for a bag of junk food, fire up a cigarette, spend hours on social media, or plop down on the couch to watch TV after work. Brain research tells us that when we repeat a behavior enough times, we begin to do it unconsciously and automatically. When we perform an action repeatedly over time, it becomes a habit we perform without consciously thinking about it. And our habits are processed in different parts of our brains than conscious thought. If you've tried breaking a bad habit in the past, then you realize how difficult this can be. But now, drawing upon neuroscience research, we can harness the power of our brains to break our bad habits and establish better ones. In this video, we are going to present you with five ways to break a bad habit. Number one, identify your triggers. Remember that identifying triggers is the first step in forming a habit. Identifying the triggers for your regular habits is the first step toward breaking them. Track your habit for a few days to see if it has any trends. Note things like this. Where does the habitual behavior happen? What time of day? How do you feel when it happens? Are other people involved? Does it happen right after something else? Assume you want to avoid staying up till midnight. After a few days of tracking your activity, you see that if you start watching TV or speaking with friends after dinner, you tend to stay up later. However, if you read or go for a walk, you go to bed early. Removing the trigger like watching TV or talking to friends makes it harder to carry out the routine of staying up too late. Number 2. Focus on why you want to change. Why do you want to break or change a certain habit? According to 2012 Trusted Source Research, it may be simpler to modify your habit when the change is desirable or advantageous to you. Consider why you wish to break the habit and any benefits you notice as a result of the change. List these reasons to help you think of some you hadn't considered before. For further motivation, write your reasoning on a piece of paper and place it on your fridge, bathroom mirror, or another prominent location. Seeing the list can keep the change you're trying to make fresh in your mind. If you do happen to fall back into the habit, your list reminds you why you want to keep trying. Number 3. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness can assist you in becoming more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions. This technique consists of just noticing impulses related to your habit and not judging or reacting to them. You may find it simpler to consider other options, such as avoiding reminder cues or not acting on the desires, as you become more conscious of these repetitive behaviors and the triggers that lead to them as you become more aware of them. Practicing mindfulness can also help you notice ways your habit affects your daily life. As you start to recognize these effects, you may feel more driven to work on changing the habit. Number 4. Replace the bad with a good one. It may be simpler to break a habit if you replace the undesired activity with a new behavior rather than merely attempting to cease the unwanted behavior. Assume you want to quit reaching for candy at work when you're hungry. If you simply try to avoid the candy dish, you may relapse when you can't resist hunger. Bringing a container of dried fruit and nuts to your desk, on the other hand, gives you another snack alternative. As you repeat the new behavior, the impulse to follow the new routine develops. Eventually, after you see rewards from the new habit, more energy and less of a sugar crash, the urge to keep doing this behavior might outweigh the desire to pursue the old habit. Number 5. Give it a time. There's a common myth that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. But where does that figure come from? It's most likely from a study of persons who have had plastic surgery. Within three weeks, the majority of them had acclimated to their new appearance. That's not the same as deliberately striving to break an ingrained behavior. The amount of time it takes to break a habit depends on several things. According to Myers, these include how long you've had the habit, the emotional, physical, or social needs the habit fulfills, whether you have support or help to break the habit, the physical or emotional reward the habit provides. If a few weeks have passed and you still don't feel like you've made much progress, reconsider your strategy. 
However, you should consider obtaining help from a mental health professional, especially if your habits are firmly rooted or cause you a lot of grief. Breaking bad habits isn't easy, but it is possible. Constantly working on yourself makes your path easy to progress. Practice these five strategies to help you out in your self-development journey. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned to such helpful content. Thanks for watching.